Okay, so uh, here's page two and page three. So this was the one that, uh, the last one that we did and I'm just turning it over, but I am going to open this flap so that the flower doesn't get squished. So, and here's a new page prepared. Okay, so this is going to be a double layout. It's, they are going to kind of flow together. Um, even though in the book, they're gonna be, you know, about yay far apart because <laughs> they're gonna be in the three rings, but that's okay. Uh, okay, so I think I wanna keep the base white. And again, you won't, you will not actually see this. I just have it laying flat for convenience. Um, so don't worry if anything I do clashes with this because you won't see this. Okay, so for this page, I want to do a bunch of like strips of different kind of paper. So I've already cut them out, but I'll show you exactly what I'm doing. I don't know exactly where I'll place them yet. Um, this one I think was gonna go horizontal. Maybe. Okay, so I couldn't get it to go 11 inches long on the silhouette. I don't think it prints and then cuts that, that long, but so this one is in two pieces. And maybe this one here. Okay, so. Um, all right, so this is what I wanna do for this page. So, uh, you know, from your pattern paper, just figure out what pieces you want to use. So this strip here is the same as this one. This one is two inches wide, of course, by 11. And this one is about one inches by, this of course is eight and a half, because we have our actual surface area that we are decorating on each page is eight and a half by 11. So this is one inches wide, and this is, what did I say? Two inches wide, okay? And then um, this one here, this is about two inches, and then I cut it to about eight. And what I did was I took um, just a die that goes into my big shot, my big kick or whatever it's called, a, a, just a manual die cutting machine, and I did this. So I literally took this straight end, and I did that. No, I did. Yeah, like that, okay? And I put it in my manual die cutting machine just like that, and then I just, and then it came out looking like that, okay? So I think I cut this one to exactly eight by two, and then like I said, I just rounded that one in, but just make sure that um, you don't cut a circle on it. You have to do that, okay. And then same thing over here, but this one is two inches and that one also started out as eight. So they were both two by eight and then I just cut ends off of, I, you know, cut a circle on the end. And then just put them wherever you want them, wherever you think they look good. Okay, and I have three different photo mats that I'm gonna be using. This one is four, this one will fit a four by four photo. So I cut it to about four and an eighth by four and an eighth to leave room for a photo that is exactly four by four. So I will probably put this one right about there. I would like this to show all the way across. This one, I believe, will accommodate a three and a half by five photo, so it's cut to five and one eighths by three and five eighths. This one will go up there. And then this one, I believe, is for a three by four photo, so it's cut three and one eighths by four and one eighths, and this one is gonna go here. 
<clears throat> Let me see here. Maybe I'll scoot that one over a little bit. Actually, I think I had this one like that. So it starts here. Yeah, I like that, okay. And then um, I have a couple of places and that, uh, the, that you can journal. So this one's probably gonna go over here. Let's move this down a little bit. This one as well, this is gonna be for journaling. This one will go here. Um, I have a panda bear, which will go there. Smile and some flowers, which will go here. And then I created this in the silhouette, so I just took um, this design element, which is from the Panda Girl paper collection from Knitwits. And then I brought that into Silhouette Studio, and then I just typed this onto that, flattened it, printed it, cut it. And then this is exactly, if I'm not mistaken, five and a half by three and a half. So then I created from brown cardstock, um, just a little flip book to make this more interactive. So once I fold it in half, this has a little border around it, okay? And we will be able to open it up and you could put a picture here and a picture here. So it will get it here down here, just like that, okay? And uh, let's see, what else? So that, that is the main bulk of that page and we can add some more decorating as we go. But right now I'm gonna get all that stuff in here down. <clears throat> So what you can do is just once you have everything exactly where you like it, you can just use little pencil marks to indicate where to put it back <laughs> once you've gotten your glue on. Also, I will, I will lay it all out where I want it and then I will take a picture so that once I move it all, I can get it back again. So that's another thing I often do when I'm making scrapbook layouts. So I'm lining this up with that pencil mark, but I'm hiding the pencil mark so it's not actually showing. And this one, oops, that one I think went there. had that overlapping that. Okay. Okay. Okay, nice and even, I think. Not exactly.
Okay. <clears throat> and then this one ran on top of those two. And you know what, uh, I might actually decide to, well, maybe not. Okay, so this measured exactly five by three, I think, five and a half by three and a half. So in order to figure out this piece, um, so this is three and a half, and since I like a little one eighth of an inch border, I had to cut this to three and five, this to three and five eighths, plus another three and five eighths. So basically that gets us seven and a quarter, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, so just account for your border. So that, that um, since this was three and a half with a one eighth of an inch border, that left me in three and five eighths, I'm sorry. Yeah, three and five eighths here and three and five eighths there, which total is seven and a quarter. And so that, since this is five and a half, this width is five and five eighths. So then of course you just score it in half and there you go. So I'm going to put this piece here. I want to leave that scalloped edge showing. Okay. And then let's see here. I think I want to just hand draw some, some, um, journaling lines on these. I'm not very good at hand drawing though. Okay, let me see if I can draw some <clears throat> journaling lines on these, which is not my, <laughs> which is not a strength of mine. I guess I could just leave them blank, but I want to add a little bit of character. Or you know what I, you know what we could do? Maybe we could just do something like that. Mm 
That might be cute. Okay, so I backed these to cardstock and I just chose brown. Okay, so this one is gonna get placed about there and this one is gonna get placed here So we're just gonna, at this point, you know, just figure out where you want things. This is kind of like where I take the longest time because I'm just like, okay, how do I finalize it? <laughs> but it's just a matter of what looks good to you. I'll probably get out some more items to decorate. All right, I am gonna magnetize these. And I'm gonna put a little uh, piece that allows a, like a pull tab. So for the pull tab, I'm just gonna take this die cut or this punch and I'm just going to punch out this little design. I'm gonna fold it directly in half and I'm just gonna use my uh, scoreboard to get an even fold like so, okay. And what I will do is I'm going to adhere it to the bottom, okay. And then I will pick out a, I will also make that same punch on a piece of, decor, on a piece of decorative paper and I will adhere it to this. So I'll do that first. Okay, so here's that. I'm gonna glue that on there. pretty good. And then we will adhere that. Oh, and of course we have to glue it together because it's open right now. <laughs> I guess you, we could do that. That would be cute too, but I don't, I don't like that. And I like it. I folded it in half basically so it could be stronger. So now it's double, double thickness. All right, so once that gets glued down, you'll be able to pull this up. And of course, once we mat it and put <clears throat> photos, it won't be so strong. It'll come apart much easier.
All right, I'm gonna bump these up as well as I did on the other page. So I have to figure out how I want this placed. I don't really want it completely straight. So there's that layout. Uh, yeah, I'm happy with the way that turned out. You could do some more things to it. Oh, uh, mat this, of course. this layout is done other than maybe deciding if you want to do some more to it but I am happy with that it's quite cute you could take your camera uh, you could take like a, a stamp of a camera or of a picture size if you have these sizes and you could stamp indicating that photos belong here um, you could do some flowers throughout, but yeah, there you go. There's that layout. So we're gonna move on to the next one.